Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Really? We're talking about Tom and We're Jerry? We're talking about Tom and Jerry. Do you realize tonight you'd be coming over and Tom and Jerry would be a BDSM allegory? So, John? Yeah, Mike. This is a video game. Uh huh. John? Yeah. Your therapies are Wednesdays, right? Yeah, I, I actually went this morning. Um, so, we are like the furthest from the next session, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That may be a little unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I believe at one point this game was so Twin Peaks there was a cease and desist involved. What year did this game come out? Uh, it's an Xbox 360 game. Oh. It does not look like it. I would not have guessed that. Um, yeah, and I'm running a, a, a bunch of enhanced stuff uh, to make it look this good. Wow. Um, so yeah, I think it's a early gen. I think it's in that phase when Microsoft was throwing a ton of money at Japanese developers yeah. to get any and all Japanese titles on the 360. It's try to, to run around here, boys. Yeah. Uh, get that working uh, with them. Uh, original is 2010. Somehow I want to... Welcome to the chat, by the way, Thea. Yeah. Sometimes I want to feel like it feels like it should be earlier than 2010. It sure does feel like that. That's why I asked. There's all the swirly, who's... Um, Next game project is going to be What If Twin Peaks, but cats. Fantastic. He's, he's quickly getting up on Mike's list of Japanese developers. I'm just going to play whatever weird shit they make. <laughs> that list is getting long. So... Okay. So, then what I love about this is, anybody who's seen or knows Twin Peaks, this makes sense. And it's not if you haven't. Okay? Oh, hey there. Yeah, this is going to be a moment for these kids, I think. Yeah. This think? is going to be a an event. I love Grandpa's not even paying attention here. <laughs> oh, my boys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm sure there's some symbolism in all this. Yeah, I'm... I'm no. No, <laughs> you think? Do you think we should maybe get the kids somewhere else? Nah. We've had long enough for the cops to show up. They're still playing with that damn ladybug. <clears throat> oh um, no, our friend went away. <laughs> now we have to actually take in this, our surroundings and process what we're seeing. This low-poly environment we, we're in. I have a hard time getting over how bad this game looked, considering how recently it came out. <laughs> Is she taking a selfie? What's she doing? I, I think that's, yeah, a photo. Uh, so, nobody looks at a photo that way. Absolutely no one. So, what I know of this game um is it's it's a it's another um one of mike's favorite flawed masterpieces yeah um clearly you can see some of the some of the flaws yeah um cult classic um the pc port that we're playing is buggy as shit i've tried to do a whole bunch of fan mods um so that it'll run um At some point, we'll need to hit, like, a guide. Hopefully I can find a non-spoiler walkthrough uh -huh. guide. Because there are some side quests and things that you can do that, like, give you fast travel. Neat. But are missable. So, like, then you just never have fast travel. Um, and there's a few other things like that that might be in the game that makes having a walkthrough valuable even if you want to sort of play it blind. I don't know that all the notes to Amazing Grace made it to Japan. 
I think a few of them got left out. Yeah, that's my feeling too, bud. Now, I, uh... Um... In true survival horror fashion, the controls look like they're shit. Oh, they're, they are shit. They are shit. Um, this definitely is taking a Silent Hill Resident Evil type vibe. I'm surprised it's not tank controls. Um, even this, to someone who's viewed Twin Peaks, we're not outside of, of new territory yet. Just a little longer. This won't take long. <laughs> Creepy <laughs> ass kids. All right. Can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice. Could you Tell whisper? me what sensation you get right now. Well, no, do this quick time event. Um, Good. It's a hack I did to this game. I did um, when I was installing all this stuff. Zach, don't be surprised. Override some textures, and there was somebody had made a texture that replaces the Xbox prompts with PlayStation controller prompts. Because that's what I'm using. Yeah. But that was nice. Okay, so this is good. This is good. Way of looking at it, but it's totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. It's attitude. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Really? We're talking about Tom and we're Jerry? We're talking about Tom and Jerry. Do you realize that you'd be coming over and Tom and Jerry would be a BDSM allegory? The fuck you talking to? Zach. Yeah, but there, there's... Oh, unless Zach's invisible or lying down in the, in the floorboard. Crazy. Just crazy. Well, at least I now have a scar to show off. <clears throat> See this? He's smoking he smoked police, police brand, brand cigarettes. Yeah, I noticed that too. You're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? That's why I'm gay. Day for you, Zach. Oh, shit. Huh? Yeah, gonna, gonna put that dog out of its misery and beat it with a steel pipe. Gonna do the the Dylan humanitarian <laughs> way of taking something out. Uh, where? Where did the zombie go? Okay, I can observe. Okay, stay sharp, Jack. Are we Zach? <laughs> Is Zach inside of his head? You know, I don't know if it ever gets answered, so don't get too hung up on. His imaginary friend, Zach. Is it Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell? Because that's my head cam. <laughs> <laughs> you got a machine broken by an axe. Hmm. Alright, apparently that's a clue. <laughs> Let's put that it down in our handy dandy notebook! Alright. Let's try to fix this mess. I took the fuse box. Oh, it makes me profile, okay. Hmm. 
All right, well, let's clean it up. Yeah. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. Lay off the whiskey and the coffee <laughs> is my recommendation. And the synthetic marijuana that's yeah. obviously making you crazy. Save point. There we go. 